paradise, there's only one paradise. So Jannah is the paradise. Jannah is the paradise. The Jannah. one paradise that has billions and billions of other paradises that are in it, like billions of gardens in it. So the word Jannah in Arabic means garden. Right? Okay. So this one huge garden, Ardu has Samawati wal Ard. Its width is all of the seven heavens and the earth combined. Right? So seven heavens is universes. Now, when our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he traveled from Mecca to Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. And then from Jerusalem to, to, to Palestine, he then ascended with Gabriel to the seven heavens and above that. Right? So he saw the fire. He saw the people in paradise. He saw his house in paradise. He saw the people that are in paradise. He heard the pitter patter of Bilal in paradise. You know what I mean? All of that he saw, Ainul Yaqeen. He saw this with his own two eyeballs. Right? So, seven heavens, seven mm-hmm. universes. The Prophet Wasallam he said that when he was with Gabriel and he reached the gates of this, the first heaven, he said that this one is the smallest one. The gate of this, the, the universe of this dunya, Sama'ud dunya, the heaven of this dunya, mm-hmm. is the smallest one. This one, compared to the one above it, is a ring in a desert. Does that make sense? It does. But if there is, so if we have our own like layer, so to speak, of this universe, are there other, how do I put this? Is it speaking to other realities that like other humans exist in the seven other universes? Certainly. Where do you think Jesus is right now? Jesus is in the fourth universe. He's in the fourth heaven. What? Mm-hmm. Jesus is in the fourth heaven. The messengers are all in their own par- They're all in their own heaven right now. They're not in paradise. No one is in paradise right now yet. They are, for example, Abraham is in the seventh heaven. He's teaching children that have died in this world. He's teaching them the Quran, right? Uh, Noah, Moses. He's in the se- is in the sixth heaven, and so on and so forth, right? So they are alive. They are alive, just not in their actual bodies, right? With the exception of Jesus, the son of Mary. Now, this universe that we're in right now, Uh right? This universe that we're in right now, compared to the one above it, is like a ring in a desert. The second compared to the third is like a ring in a desert. The third compared to the fourth is like a ring in a desert, all the way up until you get to the seventh. The seventh heaven, the seventh universe, compared to the throne of Allah, the throne of God, is like a ring in a desert, right? Now, the Prophet ﷺ, when he said that he, he was in the presence of the divine, he obviously didn't see him, right? Because he was in his original body, his original form. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said that the Hamlet Raj, the angels that are carrying the throne of God, he said just the distance between their earlobe and their shoulder, just a small distance is all of the seven universes and earth combined. <laughs> this is wild. The the angels carrying the throne of God are are so large that it's the equivalent of all seven universes. So and the Earth. billions of galaxies we like just the, just all of the, so times seven and the Earth, and that's how oh, what? just that small distance from the reaction though. <laughs> Like, ain't this y'all's reaction? Like, that's that's wild. That's bananas. <laughs> Wait. Subhanallah. Yeah. No, they're known as Hamilat Rash, you know. Uh, they are very big, but they're not as big as Gabriel. Gabriel himself, is his original form is bigger than that. Yeah. Gabriel, he's one of the archangels. Gabriel, Michael, Mikael, Israfil, you know, Israfel. These are the strongest angels. So the Hamlet al Arsh, there's eight of them. The eight angels that are carrying the throne of God, they are, we can't even conceptualize. We can't even understand how big they are, how massive they are. You know, and it's a mercy for us. It's a mercy for us, really, because there are, there are people that have wanted to see angels in their true form, but they couldn't. You know, uh, it literally, our, our eyeballs, we can't, you know, our, our bodies are so limited. It literally burn us up. We can't even. You know, but once we leave our bodies, once the soul leaves the body, 
we're able to see everything as it is.